previously on Frambo. And now, more. Okay, we're on chapter three. Vegetative state. Not quite sure why they've gone for that name, but... Oh, I guess because, duh, the vegetable people. And they're talking in that weird language again, that I am not going to um, spend my time translating. Welcome, creature. My name is Yar. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. My good friend Rai taught me they showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them. The little girl? Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Help me, please. I'm a girl. Ho, ho, ho. No need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. And he's doing some more weird tree shit. Growing. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh god, don't pull Yeah, he just pulled the berry off my head. Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Ah, my name is Fran. You are the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat, protector of gates. Interesting. What does everyone know about me? Be quiet. I see something else. The seat doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean by except for one? You mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, Fran. That is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? can't let you leave now, it's too dangerous for us. You should have never been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? Dead? What do you mean by that? You know, when you no longer exist. Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer, let me see you. What is your name? My name is Mr. Midnight. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Ranch should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? Ha ha ha, you are hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Ithursa. Oh, what an honour, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're very pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Where's this need of you going home so great? You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel that somebody cares about me. I feel confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. You're very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do. But I will help you. I will lead you to the door that will take you home, but it's your own task to walk through it. Really? Oh, thank you so much. Where is the door? 
We'll talk about that later. First things first, you must be able to talk and walk on this land. Yes, sir, that would be very great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. <coughs> you must understand that language. But how will but how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. Um, don't okay, you just spat out a fruit and throw it into my mouth and I ate it. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. Don't worry about that, I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I say, human lady? Yes, I do. You sound so kind, that's incredible. Did you understand, my kitty? I didn't, your highness. I demand one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as soon as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. Now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Like a, like a beetle with fucking six arms? <coughs> okay, so the beetle's gonna take us to get the six arms. This seems a little bit sinister. I'm not quite sure I'm... Oh, okay, we're not rooted. I'm not quite sure I'm comfortable with this. But I guess we'll find out what happens. And um, just doubles, just doubles on the clip. And here is what appears to be Falcor from Neverending Story. It's a reference and a half as some of you could say. My name is Polantris, and I'm your doctor today at your humble service. And you, are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing! What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand that all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. The king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. I'm a human. I think we can get a pair of, you a pair of arms and legs, but we'll have to travel a little bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? Or beast? Me. I'm the beast. Let's go. Okay, off we go. Hopefully this will cure me. Here we are. Wow, this place is so beautiful and peaceful. I wish I could be here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Valokos created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh wow. That sounds amazing. So when do I get my legs and arms back? Oh, right. We wait until the water purifies the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. Alright. Hmm. So who is this Falakas? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He is the king of the first reality. A long time ago he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly his heart was broken. He was all alone. But he came to the Ithastath, and his blood made this water pink. That is why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Well, that sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is it that you're here? What brought you to Ithestat? Ithestat? I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, guys. My kitty and I were on my way back home. I was so happy to see him and hug him again, but then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, sometimes our wishes are so strong they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. Think about it this way. Your human body was destroyed. But you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain all your precious memories with you. <coughs> it's actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Well, but Polantris, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? Hmm. I see. When you travel to Ithastar, you open the door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if that happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who would like to poison the second reality. The monster. The terrible black. I can't see this happening again. I just can't. Don't be sad, Doctor. I'm sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. 
Oh, little girl, you are so nice, and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special. Well, let's concentrate on your arms and legs, all right? Hmm. Yes, Doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. Oh, well. It's a good start. How do you feel, Fran from Mythistar? Well, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. The water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it could fix my mummy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, Doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You are the best doctor I've ever had, and you are fluffy and beautiful. I've had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dane, but he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you at the station. He's very nice, this fluffy cat thing. Falco away! I mean, whatever his name is, away! Here we are again. Shows the other king what a nice Istad seat. Ithar Stanis you become. Thank you again, Doctor. You have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. What a nice, what a nice man. You fluffy kitty. Uh, do you like that? Haha. <laughs> Here I am. Fran, my dear, you got leaves on your head. How pretty. She's taking this remarkably well being a fucking tree. Oh, let me see you. What a great Ithar Stanis you become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Polontris will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how we can get you back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard? <coughs> yes, the great wizard is the only one who's able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. Haha! <laughs> you haven't even got outside the castle. And you already want to know everything? That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The great wizard lives in the great mountain Cotrim. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him, and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is this mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great Ithistar day, and good luck finding the great wizard. Hi, Palantris. He's also a taxi service, as well as a qualified doctor. Did you see that huge fluffy creature, Kitty? That's Palantris. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Oh, thank you, Kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Ah, uh, well. We have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mountain Cotrim. The Great Wizard lives there. Let's go. No, no, you can't get in. It's closed. Sorry, I just wanted to see what's behind this passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Polontris? Yes, that's me. Polontris gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Ithistar, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Oh. So you don't learn anything while you're in the summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. Well, I'm curious, that's why. Everything looks so different here in Ithistar. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes. Thank you, sir. Bye. I don't like the bug. It's creepy.
Well, that's a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. We're like in the sky, I guess. Hmm. Hello, sir. Are you a god? Yes. Oh, I see. Do you know where the mountain Kotrim is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. <coughs> tell me, please. The mountain coach was only in winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Mm, of course, winter time. What do you think? I can't wait for the winter. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go? How? Ah, oh, sorry, but I'm no good at explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. Alright, thank you, sir. Beautiful. Turn that turn. Another signpost here. Oh, that seems to be the way to the market. Way to the castle and the library. And the mountain. Okay. Is this here? I guess that's where we are now. Hello? Ah, who is there? Who? Me? Fran, can't you see me? Oh, now I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. What are you selling? Only the very best plovers of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? They look like coconuts. It's pumice. Poo that I collect. They are not coconuts. Poo? Like in the toilet? Well, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Well, it's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Is he a dumb beetle? Hee <laughs> hee, I have to get going now. Good luck with the plumbers. Bye. He's selling actual shit. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day, I'm Pruta, and I'm moulding this piece of iron. For what? <coughs> <coughs> I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Oh, I see. So you can do all kinds of metallic stuff? Sure. If you have some ideas, we can talk about them, and padam, I do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. It's a good day for a good fabric and thread. I'm at your service. That's nice. Everyone here is so nice. What about you, weird little thing? We can't click on you. Here is the clockmaker. Hello, what are you doing? Huh, working on my new clock. Oh, I see, sir. Do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Hmm. Do you know where the mountain coach room is? The mountain coach room only exists in winter time. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. <coughs> <coughs> I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be in the mountain coach room. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. What should I do? So he's saying that everything exists at any given time in different realities. Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where is the clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find the big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You are very nice. Bye. I'm gonna look around here first. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? Apparently I can't read, so, um... That's off limits. Hello, little centipede. I think you have a beautiful fruit, he says. Oh, that's very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear. Would you like some... Oh, no. We're talking to him about the fruits. Let's talk about those on our hair. Shit. Oh, no. I'm on my mission to go back home. And I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh. So from what part of Ithister are you? Are you from outside the island? I'm a human. Oh, a human. That's new. Well, I hope you complete your mission. Thank you, miss. I certainly will. See you. Everyone's so nice. 
Hello, little root. You are so cute. Oh, thank you. You are cute too. I'm Fran. I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma. And I want to sing all day long. What's your favourite song, Zelma? My favourite song goes like this. One and a two and a one and a two and a three. Two and three. One and... One and one or two, one and two or three. So it's fucking addition, right? And three and five are eight, and I don't remember any more than that. I learned that at school. It's fun. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. Like a snail playing a game. <coughs> Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see meantime in meaning in the meaningless... Okay. Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas, I am the Volokas. Black and white, shadows and light. It's a board game? Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I'll give you a coin if you win, eh? What do you say? What are the rules? <coughs> First to place three are the same favorite as I like connect four. We toss the machinery and see it begins. Are you in? Oh, it's tic-tac-toe, yeah. Sure it sounds like a game we used to play at school called tic-tac-toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. We're going first, by the way. As you can see. I think I might have done this, guys, after many, 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 many tries there. Yeah, I got the coin. Very well done, little creature. You are a master. We got a coin. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. I have seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. Could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home, I see. Sadly, these boats only work with Isistanese. Ha, huh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. He's nice. Everyone's nice. I've got a feeling making it winter's gonna fuck everything up for everyone, but, you know, I don't care. It's a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? Did you find a golden coin for the clockmaker, dear? Oh, we've got a... Yeah, that's right. We've got a gold coin for the clockmaker. I don't actually know we had to do that. Is that a bug? I don't know. I must have missed the reference for it. Here, sir. Your golden coin. What's that? I haven't fixed any of your clocks. Oh, but I thought you wanted a coin to fix the clock. Oh, yes. But you have to offer me the job first, all right? Do it and be polite. Oh, Sir Clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold and in the name of, uh, time? I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course, that was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. He's quite disturbing. So he's going to fix the big clock for me. By the way, we got this. We haven't read this before. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, housing, or clothing. Since childhood, I was always talked to animals, plants, and insects. Even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you're looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. And you can listen to the silence and become one with everything. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. Can you see? <coughs> I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. His name is Ramor, Prince of Darkness from the Fifth rea Reality. It talked to me, playing with me and showing me all the terrors. It told me that there was this, I was the key to its existence. 
Cry because it hurts. Inside my head, the stone of wisdom inside my head. So that's Ramor, what, what, what's stalking us. I can see myself around, the other me. Tell me lies. Talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit suicide. He smiles while pronouncing the words, kill yourself. And I've tried. Hypnotized by his words, but there's always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. I meet a shadow for the first time. It talked to me. Kamalas. The race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born and feed with fear and uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body. Until the end. After that, it started raining, and it walked from me, leaving a black, oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Okay. This is quite in-depth. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment last night. I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transformed into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. <coughs> after the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like pain was disappearing after a few minutes. A bright and peaceful light began rising in front of me. I felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If the stair awaits, all Valkos must go there after waking up. If you wish to see me, the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. So it became a Valakas, and it lives in this realm we are in now. Hmm. This goes on a long time. A long time, guys. A oh, fucking cow. This is like a fucking essay. Just to summarize, I keep seeing the Valakas and a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. Since I saw the Valakas, I keep seeing this, sorry. People are rejecting him because they think he's insane. His own son rejects him. Like a little poem about being sad. Holy shit, it's the thing! I found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside the same spot the creature landed. That's a pink liquid from the lake. So this creature, whatever his name is, Kate Pultras, came to our reality and dropped some things off. I dream of a thousand black cats surrounding my house, but yellow eyes staring at my sleep. <coughs> it's a guide to Ithistar. The Valkos body structure. So these were like some creatures, and they became. They became the shadow things, I guess. Like when Wilters and the shadow things, they become this. Hmm, they're crowned with a shield that age that. That number. Hmm. Okay, very nice. Pandora, creation of the five realms of existence, resides in the human world. Third reality, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, consciousness, practice of will. The end of vibration, which ends at the opposite to the same degree, resides in third and fourth reality, death. Okay, this is all really weird. Mabuku is the end of light. Mother Mabuku is letting me go. I spent 15 days here in Mabuku's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love. It's everywhere and it's everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. This is all fucked up. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuku sent me to the endless limits of Mabuku's den, and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them, or to be more precise, become one of them. <coughs> Luciferns gather in filaments. That's why they look alike. They're growing hair, and their big faces mostly for communication purposes, and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. So these things we saw on the tree are helping him back? This is all very weird, and a load of pages are missing. I don't really get it, but he's presumably suffering from a condition similar to ours. Huh, you were right, the clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Um, yes. Hmm, Hi oh, there. What is it? It seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? It means somebody broke it. It's immoral, breaking a defenseless clock. Ah, why would somebody break it? 
Kamala's winter mountain coach room the stones. Many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamala's the evil darkness. They work for Raymore, the terrible black. And Kamala's are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me. Ramor wants the stones, but what I don't understand is... For what purpose? Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. I don't know what he's talking about. Well, I know what those things are, but what stones? And the stones are in the winter time. Is Ramor a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes. You know him? Yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones. They're my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Haha. That's why you need to go to Wintertime and go to Mountain Coatrim. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm. What is fixed now? I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here. The list has changed season, I guess. It's a remote control for the clock. You'll be able to travel in all four seasons in just a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful, thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker, guy. Please, call me Cogwind. Alright, Mr. Cogwind, I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye! I'm not even sure if I collected that. There was no sound or notification at all. Like, Try for a Try that. Yeah. Wow. Um, way to waste the boost, Minx. Look at the wheels on your fucking chariot. So... Uh, by the way, I'd like to point out that you're also in first and last at the moment, because there's only six characters in this game, so... Oh yeah, I'm in the race twice. <laughs> That's interesting one. Why are you so fucking... Look at that lens flare! Jesus Christ. Colin Eucharist Jimmy. Florentina is going to have like, no fucking 